welcome to my channel. This is Dalise. But you might know me as Tamper Girl. Today I am guest designing for Kendra's Card Challenge KCC 12. Kendra's Card Challenge is a quarterly card challenge that card makers worldwide can join. It is again a quarterly card challenge. You download the PDF file that contains the cutting template for six sheets of paper and you end up with 15 different card sketches that you can follow from this PDF. You create your own cards using the templates and your choice of coordinating six by six pattern paper. They can be any color and any theme. You must trust the card and you must trust the sketches and you will fall in love with all 15 cards. To enter the challenge for a chance to win one of many prizes, they're valued up to a thousand dollars. You can join the Facebook group to submit your entries, their monthly prices and their quarterly prices. So please join us on Facebook, Instagram, and come and join us to participate as part of Kendra's car challenge. For today, I am using the cute, adorable stamp set, Pumpkin Spice Treat Stamps by Pixie Dots Design. These adorable stamp sets have all these super cute characters. Um, they're all like pumpkin spice in a fall weather. And I am coloring them in an unusual fall color scheme so I'm doing more pastel colors because I am matching that polka dot paper that you see in the background I am using Prima marketing watercolors and I'm using two different palettes this one on my left is the bright colors and the one on the right is more of a full palette I'm starting with a super super light wash and now I'm adding little details and I was able to color match the, paper, the color in the paper by mixing that light sky blue with the apple red, sorry, apple green that you see next to it. Now I'm moving to my grays from the more um, neutral fall palette and I'm just adding it to all my whipped creams and the lid on my hot coffee. So this is gonna be all in a palette of like that minty seafoam green, some pinks, some craft color. Of course, my coffee is gonna be brown because I love dark coffee or black coffee. And some whipped creams and frosting, like bright colors to match those pattern papers. So for today, I will be using card sketch number 12 and we will come to it in a little bit. There are a few videos that will come as part of this video. So this video just got too long and for a hop, I don't like big videos. Um, and yes, this is part of a hop. This video is part of the help and I will give you the information in just a little bit. But I didn't want to keep this video too long so I have decided to break it into videos. You will have this video that ha will have sketch all the coloring and sketch 12 and then I will show have one more video with two more sketches from KCC 12. Here I am adding the pinks. Told you I'm matching those colors. I'm making some fun strawberry frosting and a fun ice blended drink. When you're doing coloring, one way to make sure that everything looks cohesive is you use the same colors throughout. So I use my green in three or more places. I use my grays in three or more places and I'm using my pinks in three or more places. And you'll see me bring then very pale peach color in my background, which is the one that I'm going to try to match to. And you'll see me put it in three different places with like a little craft color. Here comes that like craft almost peach color to match the pattern paper. And I'm just adding some 
um, shadows here and there. And I love that little cup with the faces. Seriously, this set from Pixie Dust Designs is one of the cutest sets I've seen in a while because the faces are not just happy faces. They have this such a like a live expression. They're just so darling. I did, and I mentioned it at the beginning of the um, video in a text, that I did mask out the little pumpkin that the frozen drink had. And I just put a little bit of tape and mask it off because I wanted to have that big pink color impact on the drink. And here I am bringing more of that minty green back. And I decided to make my apple pink. I know it is not realistic, but um, none of these items have in real life faces. So I thought, why not? Let's keep with the same pa color palette and keep using the pink. And now I'm bringing that a little bit of a darker color on the peachy, which is going to be the caramel dripping on the apple. All the, um, this set that I'm using right now, the, let me repeat the name, it's the Pumpkin Spice Treat Stamp, has a coordinating die. And I just fell in love with these dies. They cut perfectly and they are super adorable because they are purple. They are super unique. So if you drop one, you immediately, and if you find it later, you immediately know, okay, this is a pixie dust design die cut. I am coming with more touches of a darker color just to make it more vibrant. And I personally prefer to have a high contrast coloring with my watercolors. Um, some people like it more subtle. I love high contrast. Now I'm bringing a little bit of that dark blue that you can see in the color in the pattern paper and I'm just adding it on top of some of the teal I'm adding it on the eyes of some of the sweet characters and it you, it is a perfect color to add a little bit of a shadow to the green minty color here is a close of our cupcake our pie our apple and the frozen drink and I'm going to rotate it so you have a better view of the hot coffee, the little mug and the saucer and the super cute smaller size donut. And here is I'm showing you how I match up those colors. The pink I actually mixed the bright pink with a fuchsia that they had in that bright palette and it matched. It came out perfectly. I am adding a little bit of gel pen just to bring details and this just really brings life to these images, especially when you add that little bit of a highlight on the eyes of all these sweet characters. Let me give you the information about this hop. This is a collaboration hop featuring our super sponsor Pixie Dust Design. And our team will be showcasing some of their amazing stamps with Kendra's card challenge number 12. And I will have a complete list down in my description below of the hop. But this is a hop that you can follow with a hashtag. So check out the title on my YouTube video. Click on that hashtag and it should show you all the participants on this hop. I really hope you join us into playing with Kendra's car challenge number 12, not only for the amazing prizes that you can have, you get quarterly, but also for all the amazing community that Kendra's car challenge has created for all of us. This is a giveaway hop. So make sure you fill out the raffle copter link that I have in my description below. It needs to be filled out by November 25th. We will pick a random winner and we will announce it 
um, the Pixie Does Design YouTube channel. So make sure that you join us all and leave us comments here on our videos. And if you love what you see on each of the stops, please and join us by subscribing and following our channels. We love it when you guys join us. So here I am working on sketch number 12 and it starts with um, strips of paper that we put diagonal and then I added those extra strips. This sketch actually has them a little with a little bit of space in between but I decided to have them a little bit closer. You can notice also that I'm a little bit off center but I actually like the way it looks. I am bringing this yellow into the mix and I have the little cute pie and my hot to go cup and I am fussing around to see which of the sentiments I'm going to use and I decide to go with sweetie pie. So I am putting it in my, my, my misty and as soon as I put it I am actually just curving it a little bit, fussing with it until I find the perfect curvature to follow my little cute pie. And that is what I'm going to use. And there it is. I love how this car turned out. It is super quick, super fast. Adding a little bit of bling because everything needs to be finished with a little bit of bling. I am calling this card done. And you can see all the other cards that we I will be showcasing in the next few days. The one on the left is one of the videos that just came out this week. So go check it out. And the other two will be coming very soon after the weekend. So I hope you join us. I hope you check it out. Pixie Dust Design and these adorable sets. I am actually using the pumpkin spice treat stamp and coordinating dies. I will leave you information and links in my description below. I hope you follow the hub with us. And remember, don't leave your crafting for tomorrow. Start today.